Close your eyes. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body. Allow your attention to settle there, and then try to stay there each time you breathe in, each time you breathe out. And let the breath be comfortable. You can try long breathing for a while, see if that feels good. If it does, you can keep on breathing long. If it doesn't feel good, you can change. Faster, slower, heavier, lighter, deeper, more shallow. Try to see what rhythm feels good for you right now. Right now you have no other responsibilities. Today's a day off from the affairs of the world outside. And you come here to look after the affairs of the world inside, inside your own mind. That's a sign of wisdom, realizing that the source of true happiness lies in here. We spend so much time with our attention diverted elsewhere because we have all these other responsibilities. But right now you have none, no other responsibilities at all. There's nowhere else you have to go, nothing else you have to do. Just look after your own mind. Make sure it stays in place. If any thoughts come in, you don't have to follow them. The only thoughts you want to follow are the thoughts that say, stay with the breath. See what kind of breathing feels good. That's where the mind gets a chance to rest. And more than rest, it gathers its strengths. Because to stay here requires that you be mindful. In other words, you keep in mind the fact that each time you breathe in, you're going to stay right here. And you have to be alert to see what's actually going on, and particularly to see what you're doing. And then finally, you have to put some effort into it. It's not going to happen on its own. And you're not just following the mind wherever it wants to wander. You're making up your mind, you're going to stay right here. To build strength of concentration, to build your strength of mindfulness. Because these are qualities you need throughout life, both for the sake of the work you have to do in the world and for your own sake. Because whatever you have to do, you have to realize there's a good and a bad way of doing it. And sometimes there are many bad ways of doing it, and only one good way. So you've got to keep that good way in mind. And then be alert to see if you're actually sticking with it. Then you have to put in some effort. So these are the things you have to watch out for. These are the things you're strengthening as you meditate. Here's the Pali word for meditation, bhavana, means to develop. We're trying to develop good qualities in the mind. And you do it to begin with with simple exercises like this. The problem is we tend to make a simple exercise like this a little bit too complex. Because we try to do several things at once. We'll do this, but we also want to think about what we're going to do after we leave here, what we've done earlier today what we're going to do tomorrow. And that adds a lot of unnecessary complexity right now. You don't have to take on those responsibilities. As the Buddha said, the sign of a wise person is one who knows what his responsibilities are and focuses on what is his responsibility. Things that are not his responsibility, he can let go. Because there's so much in the world that we can't control. When we can try to control the things outside the world that resist our control. We're beginning to neglect what can be controlled inside. So to make sure that our energy is well directed, look inside, get to know yourself inside. Look after your well-being inside. Because this is an area where you can make a lot of changes and a lot of improvements. So focus in here and learn how to maintain a sense of being focused inside your body, even as you go through the world. It keeps you well grounded. It helps you to remember that you're here not so much to straighten out the world, you're here to straighten out yourself. And that can be done right here, right here, right now. If you put it off to some other time, you never know whether you're going to live until that time. And if you have the habit of putting things off to another time, when you get to that other time, you say, well, another time, another time. Develop the habit of this time, right now. See how much you can do right now. And that way you're taking responsibility for your mind, and you're looking after the part of your life which is most important, because this shapes everything else you do.